he wrote any uh, comment or uh, asking um, a topic that is uh, us versus iran war or whatever um, anyway i also would like to record it that's the reason i'm making this video see i since i lived in india and uh, i've been living in us so i know a little bit of india and uh, us but i'm not uh, aware of uh, iran because i didn't I haven't been there, right? That's one. And uh, but since I've been following news, current affairs uh, from seventh grade, and uh, when it comes to international affairs and politics, that's I have started following while I was doing my BA graduation. That's where I have the interest or what's going on around the world. But still, it is very difficult to predict. or uh, analyze what's going on around the globe in international politics or international current affairs whatever it's not easy right i mean we cannot it's only our uh, assumption or uh, following the newspapers or international media whatever but we don't know why it's happening one reason it might be president trump you know, it might be true in hating iran Uh, if it is not true, then uh, to divert the local issues, he might be uh, targeting there. If you don't understand, to put an example, like in BJP government headed by Modi in India, economy is down, people uh, unemployment and the uh, they could not afford right. Automobile industry is down, so suddenly they take up some religious activity. So that's how people. Uh, minds get diverted something like that maybe we don't know until uh, time passes right that is one uh, secondly what i followed or um, understand from the news is iran helped uh, us in attacking isis uh, but i don't know why us attacked uh, him is a million dollar question that somebody needs to comment uh, especially americans they might know who are following the um, news locally here right and when it comes to india situation between iran and the uh, us um, most many of the indians fleeing india and uh, working here and pumping dollars back home that is benefiting india same time um, india is asking more h1 bs right you know whenever the indian delegates meeting us delegates but iran india is close to iran and uh, india is importing lot of um, gas we call petrol uh, from iran and the middle east so india will be most sufferer if uh, there is a war takes place between middle east and uh, us but uh, us war has started then india will be a biggest loser because uh, um, india imports lot of uh, oil right petroleum or gas we call that is one and um, according to me already the old world war is on so there is nothing uh, special about it and uh, in us is a big continent rather than a country it is that big and uh, i spent lot of time and understand india us as a strong air base uh, they have across us across the world right so nobody can beat them um, when it comes to air strikes and uh, on the ground some other countries are strong but in what way iran can hit us right uh, they are f- very far away from each other so ultimately us will won, uh, win uh, but the problem is uh, there will be repercussions of the war uh, that's what Um, which people cannot afford especially developing nations thank you